Good evening, Marco. Long time to see, buddy. Hope you're okay. Okay, we're going to start in a, in a couple of minutes. Let us wait for the rest. Hello, Marco, are you there? Hello, Juan Antonio, good evening. Okay, now I can see you, Marco. <laughs> How's everything there? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Marco. Good, Good evening, evening, Juan. I'm really happy to see you over here. Okay, good. Good to see you. And what about you, Juan Antonio? Is everything all right? It's okay. Okay, very good. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome, Rebecca. Hope you are okay. Well, you are... Is Janelle, right? Hello, Rebecca. Do me the favor to activate your camera. That is right. Okay, Rebecca, I will take it into consideration. Good evening, Janelle. Good evening, teacher. Okay, I'm really nice to have you in the class. Hello, Gisela. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, now I'm really happy to see you over here. Now, hey, today uh, we're going to start with a new topic. Uh, I hope you have had a great uh, weekend and I hope you um, did a lot of interesting activities, okay? Today we're gonna go over a new topic. Uh, we're going to uh, start talking about how to describe people Okay, and but before getting into that part, uh, I remember you had a homework, right? You had a homework about different cities, right? Now, I, I will ask some of you to participate. I, I, I need three volunteers, three or four volunteers would be all right, so that we can uh, see the way you are just working in the, in the, um, in homework activities, homework assignments, and then we're gonna go over the topic uh, that we're in charge of working tonight. Uh, Jonel, Jonel wants to participate, and that's fantastic. Jonel, let us know about what you investigated. Uh, I, I can participate in the Ah, okay, okay, Jonel. I wonder if there is another participant who wants to share information. Meanwhile, Janelle gets to her bathroom or to her. 
I don't know. Let me know if you want to participate. Dennis, did you investigate something about uh, maybe Las Vegas? Yes. LA? Okay, let us know about it, please. Okay, downtown Los Angeles is my investigation. Is that it? Sure. Okay. Uh, downtown is fantastic. Feel sure for the free Wi Fi, everything is the downtown district at the um, skyscraper, right? The skyscraper from the city, this area of Los Angeles has a, a small Tokyo and a small Chinatown. Uh, something you should know is that um, a lot of traffic is a very difficult than moving in the bar. Uh, it's a, a, a big or little problem in the city. And another thing are the collisions that we you know as a market where uh, Hedgling is very left. <clears throat> and has important information. Here are the uh, majority of government office uh, because it is an important place. There are many passenger stores. This place, this place is a key destination for the who live the American United experience. Wow. You get a lot of information. And uh, the most important part of this is that you could put into practice uh, your English. Congrats, Dennis. I don't know if Thank there you. is... Thank you. I don't know if there is someone else who wants to participate. Remember, Christian says... All right, Christian, you, I, I will take it into consideration, okay? I wonder if there is another person who wants to share information. Ricardo? Hello, teacher. Hello, are you ready with the information about homework assignment? La que mandó por WhatsApp. No. Yeah, I mean, the one that I shared in the last session Mm -hmm. that were in one neighborhood. I mean, you were in charge of investigating about Las Vegas, uh, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Park Nashville, or Miami. No, 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 no la hice, teacher. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. And I hope the next time uh, you you could you you can take advantage of the activity, okay? Uh, Janelle, are you ready now? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The coolest neighborhood in the United States, I would like to talk about the city of Miami. Miami is a city located on the to distant part of the United States. Uh, around 70% of the population are Latin American and Hispanic. Some of the culture that, that we can find in Miami are Cuban, Puerto Rican, and, and Haitian. Uh, Miami is a major of destination of the United States, and many people come to uh, come to Great Miami for this hotel, restaurant, and nightlife. And of course, for its spectacular beaches. This beautiful destination uh, is home of all of this, uh, a variety of other exciting activities. Among these activities are the many amusement parts of this, uh, pardon, the many amusement parts the city has. Fantastic. 
great information, great pronunciation. I could notice that you were like practicing your, I mean, vocabulary and everything you were in charge of presenting tonight. And congratulations, Janelle. That's the way it is. Congrats. Okay, I wonder if there is another person, a third participant, and then we are, we're gonna move on with the topic for tonight. Another volunteer, volunteer, the last volunteer. <laughs> another person who wants to share information. Oscar. Mm. Good, good night. Good evening, uh, Oscar. How do you know? How do you know? I'm not ready yet. Okay. Gisela, are you ready? No, fine. Boy. Es que quería. No sé si voy a poder presentar. Pero me quiero ver si puedo. Okay. Uh... Santa Fe, all right. Art for all, this is, this is, <laughs> this is Denver's art district on Santa Fe. Art and culture. Our studios, galleries, museums, murals, all representing hundreds of artists. Any at any given time, food and drink from Salvadoran to Jamaica to Mexican and everything in between. It's renowned international cuisine represent, cuisine represents all corners of the world. And Brody's, they've got those two. All right. Thank you. Wow, that was great, Gisela. Congratulations, because I could notice also that you were like a uh, practicing vocabulary and the pronunciation. Okay, Ricardo, I can see. Now, hey, let us let us get down to business. Let's see what's going on for tonight. Now, I I don't know if you could see the video about describing people, about information, or how to describe people in English, because that's the topic for tonight. Okay, now, as you can see, we're going to start talking about vocabulary relating to, to, to that topic. I don't know if there is one person who wants to help me to read the... Um, the lesson objective. Me. Okay. All, all right, go ahead. Okay. In this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. So we're going to get concentrated and we're going to try to um, learn as, as much vocabulary as possible. Okay. Now, you see, I have this video. Okay. I will. I will play the the video and let us try to learn vocabulary, okay? When you describe someone, remember you can describe someone uh, physically and also you can describe uh, someone by talking about his or her personality. The video I shared tonight through WhatsApp uh, talks about both, okay? So we're gonna start talking about physical appearance, okay? 
and later we can we can talk a little or we can use some structures or vocabulary related to personality as well now let's see do me the favor to listen to and to uh, repeat at home hi welcome to section nine in this section you will learn vocabulary to describe people look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me hair Long hair. brown hair, Long brown short hair. blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall all right so now let's see now i have now some of you are going to help me to read okay marco tell us about about the vocabulary related to hair please hair. Okay, okay long brown hair short brown hair straight black hair curly red hair bolt a mustache and a beard Oh, all right. Hey, who has long uh, hair in the class? Long hair. Long brown hair. Is there anybody with a long brown hair here? Yes or no? What about, what about blonde hair? Is there anybody with blonde hair in the class? Yes, no. Blonde hair. What about straight black hair? Straight black hair. Is there anybody with straight black hair in the class? Yonel? Straight black hair. Rebecca Rivas? Okay, Rebecca Rivas has uh, straight black hair. Okay, and what about Carly hair? Is there anybody Car uh, with Carly black hair? hair. Uh, Carly black hair, not red, but a Carly black hair. Or All Car right, Carly Ricardo. Hair. Ricardo. Uh, All right. What about people who are just getting bald? Bald people on bald people? No, only the teacher. End. Only the teacher, right? I'm, I'm, I'm teacher. getting bald, right? The teacher, right? Medium, medium bald. <laughs> what about? Uh, is there anybody with a mustache and a beard? In a beard? Oscar? Juan Antonio. Oscar is using. Uh, Oscar Antonio wants yeah. to participate. Uh, Juan Antonio. Curly hair. Curly hair. Uh, Juan Antonio has a. Beer. Hey, does Juan Antonio have a mustache? Only beard. Uh, only beard. Beard. All right, very good. Uh, what about people over here? Let us talk about age. I think everybody is young here. Young, young. Let me see. Uh, I want somebody to uh, tell me the vocabulary. I I want somebody read the information. Let me see. People who haven't participated. Uh, Jocelyn, please read read the vocabulary, Jocelyn. Hello, teacher. Age? Yeah. The vocabulary about age. Okay. Young, middle young, age. Young, middle age. Middle age. Elderly. Looks handsome. Handsome. Looking pretty. Looking and pretty. Thank you. And the last uh, part, uh, Oscar Antonio, please read the vocabulary.
Well, it seems as if Oscar has problems. Is there anybody? Ricardo, please. Short is la, la altura, verdad? Yeah, that's short right. Height. Uh, wait a minute. Height. The pronunciation is height. Height. All right. Short, fairly short. Medium height. Short, height. Medium height. Very tall, height. Very tall. Very tall. And very tall. Now there is there is an activity over here. Uh, you are you're gonna be in charge of looking for more vocabulary. Okay, and and then uh you you will share it with us tomorrow, okay? Now let me see. Now that we got familiarized with this vocabulary, uh, as you could notice over there. We are talking about a vocabulary related to physical appearance, okay? But um, we're going to see the next part, okay? Because over here, we're going to go over a conversation between two people who are describing another person. Now, you will notice about some adjective of appearance, okay? And we are going to identify them. Now, here we go. Now, conversation. Uh, let me see. Before getting into the activity itself, into the video itself, I want to listen to you. I want to listen to you. Uh, the, the, way, the way you, the way you um, read it, I mean, and later we're going to listen to the, to the video. We're not going to see and listen to the video. I will ask two people only to read. Let me see. Ada and, and Nelson. Ada and Nelson. Ada will be Emily and Nelson will be Randy. Thank you, sir. Okay. Are you ready, Ada? Let me see, Ada seems to have to be like, Ada, are you there? No, let's... Isabella, could you please help us? Maria Elena? Okay, Marilyn. Okay. Hi. Do me the favor to read the information. You will start. You will play the role of Emily. Emily. Yeah. I hear you have a new girlfriend. Um, girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really. What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And and how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. I don't know. She won't tell me. Now, you know, uh, asking about age to women is not a good idea, right? Now, let's see. Now, now that you read the information, the conversation, let us listen to it. Because later, I will ask two people more to read the conversation. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. I don't know. She won't tell me. Hey, now, can you see vocabulary about 
uh, vocabulary in the conversation about describing people? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very good. Is there another one? Tall. Very tall. Which is very tall. This is an intensifier, and we have the adjective. All right. We have tall. Red high or not? Okay, she has beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Red. Yeah. Here. And that's it, right? So over there, you can see the vocabulary, okay? Some vocabulary related to um, describing someone physically, okay? I need two people more, okay? To help me now that you hear the right pronunciation, I mean, the conversation itself, I need two people to read it the last time. Uh, give me one second. I can see. Okay, Moses and Jonel. Go ahead. Jonel, you start. Okay, teacher. Hi. I, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she is gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet, six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. Um, how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Wow, people. I, I can notice that you are improving your pronunciation day by day. I don't know if there is another if, if there is another couple who wants to participate by reading the conversation. I need to check pronunciation. People who haven't participated, please. Ricardo, let me see. People who haven't participated. Only two people more. Only two people. Okay, have Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. And someone else? Dennis wants to participate, but he needs somebody else to help him. Okay, Jocelyn, go ahead. Thank you, Jocelyn. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she is gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet. Two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, that's the way uh, we have to uh, be like practicing. Uh, continuously now that you have access to the platform you have access to the conversations and the vocabulary and everything we are studying now okay and you you can practice as many times as you wish okay let me see Okay, now, give me one second. All right, that's better. Now, uh, she's very tall. And over here, we're going to see something else about asking and answering questions about appearance, okay? We continue with the same topic. 
Okay, and in this in in this part of the of the class, we're gonna see information about um, describing someone. Later, we're gonna start working in an activity. I have. Hi. Here. In this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, great info. Two. Great info. Now, we're going to start uh, working uh, with this information. Now, when you want to ask about somebody's appearance then you use the following question what does she look like and what does she look like or if it is a boy then you say what does what does it look like what does it look like well it all depends if it is a boy or if it is a girl they say she's tall with red hair or if you want to provide extra information you can do it she's gorgeous all right now uh, if you want to ask uh, something else about a person who wears uh, glasses, then you have the question uh, over here. Does he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? Now, something that I want you to notice about this is that uh, you blend sounds over here. What does she? What does she look like? Now, can you can you repeat? What does she look like? I want to listen to Marco. What does she look like? What does she look like? All right. Now notice about this. What does she what does she look like? What does she, what does she look like? What does she look like? Yeah, now notice that when we speak a, a little bit fast, then we tend to blend sounds. Then they moha near so near, okay? What does she? Ya es como que no. She? Si nosotros decimos, what does she look like? Ok, está bien, pero cuando las personas norteamericanas hablan, ellos tienden a unir sonidos. Ustedes lo van a ir aprendiendo poco a poco. What does she look like? She's what tall she like? with red hair. She's gorgeous. Ok, thank you, Marco. Now, the same happens with the second question. Lo mismo sucede con... Con la segunda pregunta. ¿Quién me ayuda a leerla? Does he wear glasses? Wear glasses? All right. Very good, Dennis. Very good, Oscar. Hey, normally we say, does he wear glasses? Okay. But when, uh, when talking um, a little bit fast, then we tend to say, does he, does he wear glasses? Does he, he, does he, does he wear glasses? Now, I will play it so that you can notice about it. Lo voy a poner, espero, espero no equivocarme en la parte que quiero que escuchen. Ok, escuchen la, como él, como la persona pronuncia las, las dos preguntas. Let's see. Does he wear glasses? Now, let me see, it's a little bit. She's tall with red. Now, notice about it, please. General appearance. What does she look like? Now, what did you listen to? ¿Qué escucharon? 
reuniões. Now, listen to the pronunciation, please. What does she look like? Oh, my goodness. She's tall with red hair. Well, I have problems with this. Okay, now, I, I won't play it because I'm facing problems with the video, but, you know, does he wear glasses? Does he wear... Oh, my goodness. Now, how old is she? How old is she? Now, same happens with the question about age. How old is she? Is she? Is she? Uh-uh. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30th. Uh, how old is she? How old is she? He's in his 20th. How tall is she? She is 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short, etc. Right? So we can see different different statements to have questions. Okay, now let me see. Now uh, in order to see because I don't know, but all right. In order to start working about uh, or with the information we have here. Let us see if we can describe someone from the class. I will stop sharing, okay, and with the information we got there. Or if you want to uh, look for extra information in the web, you can do it. But uh, right now, I want everybody to activate your camera because uh, you are going to describe one of your classmates tonight. In este momento, le voy a dar cinco minutos para que Describan a uno de sus compañeros de la clase. All right, five minutes. Five minutes and then we continue, all right? Okay, five minutes from now on. Cinco minutos para que ustedes puedan describir a, a alguien brevemente, a alguien de, su, de, su, de la clase. Choose someone from the class and start describing the person. Okay, five minutes, people. Uh, I describe my Marco Antonio. You will describe Marco Antonio. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, wow. Let us listen to Moses. Moses, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, Marco Antonio uh, wear glasses. He has a mustache and beard, and he has a short black hair and uh, he's young and tall he's young and he's tall 
Okay, now let us make or let us have some review about how to conjugate verbs in simple present form. Okay, because we have um, the verb uh, were, and then when conjugating the verb, we say I were, you were, but when we get into the third person singular, then we say he wears or Juan Antonio wears. All right. Okay, let's keep it in mind. Very good, uh, Moses. Great job. Great job. Is there anybody else? Or do you need, do you still need some more time? I described Gisela. All right, perfect. Okay, like Gisela has a curly hair. A curly hair. She wears glasses. She's in a look stall. And Bucky has a gradation picture. Good. Very good, Danny. Thank you. Okay. Very good. I want everybody to participate tonight. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, okay, Nelson, go ahead. Yo lo hice con una eh, pregunta. What does Marco look like? He's, wear, he's wearing glass, glasses. Uh, his hair is black. His skin color is light brown. All right. Very good, D Nelson. Fantastic. I knew you were you you wanted to participate tonight. Okay, is there anybody else? Let me know when you get ready. Uh, oh, Oscar is ready. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Um Maria Elena has black hair and this a rose. She is Jones and of medium shape. It's just very high. Okay, Oscar, fantastic. So, Maria Elena, are you ready? Yeah. His classmate, David Aquino, is very intelligent, is tall, hair black, A is color brown, and young. And young. All right. So, Maria Elena included something that we haven't discussed yet. And that's about vocabulary related to personality, right? Intelligent, all right, it's a new word. It's a new word, I mean, to talk about personality. Now, if you want to include a vocabulary about personality, it will be all right, it will be perfect. Is there anybody okay. else? Who else is ready? Okay, one minute more for those who haven't finished yet. Then I will ask, I need most of you to participate in the class. All right, I think that you are more than ready. Okay, Marco already participated. Gisela, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so let's try Marco Antonio. Mar Marco Antonio is very popular, you know. Okay. Marco, Marco Antonio wears glasses and has a bird. Has a beard. Beard, pardon. And has short, dark brown hair. And he has short black hair. Very good, Isela. Very good. 
Now, Yonel, are you done with it? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. I describe to Juan Antonio. Okay, Juan Antonio is very popular also. <laughs> He's young, has brown skin, and has short black hair, and has a beard. And he has a beard, right? The beard is very, uh, it's in fashion now. Okay, thank you, Janelle. Ricardo, are you ready? Uh, Moses. Uh, you will describe Moses. He's a slim, he is young, he has short brown hair on back, no sé, es muy oscuro. <laughs> No sé si es negro o café el pelo de él. Black hair? Black hair or, or brown. No, no sé, entonces por eso puse brown. Oh, ok, oh. it's all right, Ricardo, it's all right. Go ahead. Brown hair or, or black hair. All right. Thank you, Ricardo. Juan Antonio. I want to cry Oscar Antonio. What can you tell us about Oscar? Okay. He has a short and black hair. He wears glasses. Uh, he, uh, he's a medium height. Also, he has showing. Okay, Juan Antonio, perfect. Really good. Now, uh, Nelson? Sure. Um, yo mencioné la pregunta que decía, what does, ah, yeah. work, what does my collision? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Nelson, thanks. Christian? Jocelyn? I describe Oscar Ramos. Okay. He has short black hair. He has a mustache and beard. And he wears glasses. And I think he's tall. Uh, you, th you, you think he's tall. <laughs> All right. Very good. And uh, you see, let me see. Isabella. Well, I... At the beginning, some people told me they had some problems, okay? And, you know, well, let's, let's try to finish, okay? I still have something to share with you. Okay, now, as you could notice, then you... She's you, tall. You talked about general appearance, right? And you also provided... Uh, information about height, about the color of uh, the hair, okay, and some people even uh, included information about the color of eyes. All right, this, and that's fantastic. Okay, later, let me see. We're going to uh, complete this exercise, and then I will let you know about the homework for tomorrow, and I think we will be done. Now, write questions to match these statements. My brother is 26 year, years old. What is the question for the number one? How old is your brother? How old is your brother? Very good. How old is your brother? Good. I'm... Uh, 173 centimeters. How tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? Number three. He's tall and very good looking. What does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? Number four, my sister's hair is medium length. How 
How long is your sister her? How long is your sister her? I am 40 years old. How old are you? 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 And they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. What do they look like? What do they look like? What do they look like? And the last one, he's uh, 180 centimeters. How tall is he? How tall is he? How tall is he? And let us check it. Now let us see if we if we have them all in the right way. How old is your brother? Okay, it's all right. How tall are you? All right. What does he look like? How long is your sister hair? How old are you? What do they look like? And how tall is he? Wow. Pretty good, people. You are doing a great job tonight. And in order to finish, I will stop sharing, okay? Let me tell you the following. For tomorrow, I want you to describe someone you admire. All right? That's, that will be the, your homework assignment, okay? You can describe the person in both ways. One, talking about uh, physical appearance, and two, talking about personality. All right? Um, if you want to spend like two minutes talking about uh, that person, will be all right. If you want to spend uh, only one minute, will be all right. There's no problem. Okay, feel free to participate. And the most important part of the class is that you participate and that you practice English, okay? So I will I will let you know about it in, in Spanish. Hey, lo felicito eh, porque pues han practicado. Es algo básico, pero eh, todo, todo tiene un, un propósito, ¿verdad? Ir enriqueciendo nuestro vocabulario, nuestras frases en inglés e ir practicándolos. Les decía que para el día de mañana necesito que ustedes describan a una persona que ustedes admiran. ¿Ok? Nos van a decir, uh, nos, van a, nos la van a describir físicamente y nos van a decir algo respecto a la personalidad de esta persona. También nos van a decir por qué ustedes eligieron a esa persona y por qué la admiran. ¿Ok? Eso es para el día de mañana. Les decía que pueden gastarse dos minutos en su presentación, un minuto, eh, 30 segundos, 50 segundos. Con el tiempo que ustedes se sientan cómodos, eso está bien. ¿Ok? Siempre se lo voy a repetir. Lo que más me interesa a mí es que ustedes practiquen. ¿Ok? Su aprendizaje, el ritmo de aprendizaje va a depender mucho de, de ustedes, ¿verdad? Hay unos que, pues, les gusta practicar más o hablar más en frente de los demás y hay otros que son eh, un poquito uh, tímidos y no les gusta participar mucho. Sin embargo, la invitación se les hace a todos que participen activamente en la clase. Eh, las horas en las que nosotros impartimos la sesión no son fáciles, pero si nosotros pon ponemos de nuestra parte y practicamos eh, o estamos eh, activos en la clase, pues el tiempo se va a ir mucho más rápido. Ok. Uh, voy a pasar la lista. Y si hay alguna pregunta, pues los escucho. O alguna recomendación también. 
Y si no, pues nos vemos mañana y empezamos la clase justo con la descripción de una persona a la que ustedes admiran. Voy a mencionar algunos que no visualicé por acá y no escuché. Pero si me he equivocado, pues ustedes corríjanme si, si la persona está por acá. Claudia Lisset. David Roberto. Stephanie Michel. Víctor Alfredo. Xiomara Elizabeth. All right. So, los demás no los menciono, ya chequeé que, que sí están por acá. Y los felicito. Felicito a aquellos que se conectan a tiempo. Entiendo que hay unos que, pues, salen de su trabajo y algunas veces van manejando o algo, pues también les agradezco que, que me lo mencionen en el chat para yo tomarlo en cuenta. La verdad que pues no es fácil eh, salir adelante, aprender un segundo idioma, eh, teniendo otras actividades que hacer, pero sin embargo eh, los felicito porque ustedes hacen la excepción. ¿Cuántas personas... Eh, Quisieran estar acá este, aprendiendo un segundo idioma y quizás pues no lograron entrar en el, en el curso o por algún motivo no pueden estar acá, pero ustedes hacen la diferencia, ¿verdad? Las oportunidades, yo les decía a unos estudiantes por ahí que las oportunidades no, no vienen al azar a nuestras vidas, sino que nosotros creamos las oportunidades con la ayuda de Dios primero, pero ya luego si nosotros nos preparamos más, las oportunidades van a llegar a nuestra vida. No sé si hay alguien que quiera este, preguntar algo o sugerir algo o tener alguna participación. Denis. Hola, teacher. Fíjese que tengo un problema en la sección 4.8. Este, yo lo envié al grupo, reporté eso y los compañeros me decían de que a ellos ya les había sucedido la situación y que tenía que reiniciar la plataforma. Yo me salí y volví a entrar a la plataforma y sigo teniendo el problema es que no me aparece el audio para terminar la tarea. Entonces, este, escribí a uno de los asesores igual, me recomendaron que me saliera y ingresara a la plataforma, pero igual no me aparece. Entonces, es la única sección que me falta ahorita y no puedo avanzar por eso. Vamos a hacer algo, Denis. Voy a compartir porque todavía tenemos... Uf, ya no, ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero le voy a decir qué es lo que yo regularmente hago cuando me sucede ese problema. A mí también me ha sucedido. No sé si ustedes lo han notado, de que hay veces que el audio pues, no aparece. Entonces, lo que yo hago es moverme a una sección anterior y luego regresar a la sección que yo quiero aperturar. Sí, y es yo... correcto. Ya lo hice varias veces y me salgo. O sea, eh, cierro sesión y vuelvo a entrar, porque al parecer era como un problema de reinicio, quizás, pero sigue sin aparecerme. La sección 4.8 igual me aparece a mí también así. Igual, espérame, la voy a chequear ahorita, regálenme, regálenme unos minutitos. A mí también, teacher. Regálenme unos también. minutitos, por a mí también. para ver este, qué es lo que puede estar sucediendo. Es la 4.8, es un listening. Ah, lo sentimos, el archivo que ha solicitado no existe. Ah, entonces quiere decir de que a lo mejor se ha perdido el audio y yo lo voy a reportar ahorita. No se preocupen, lo voy a reportar Thank you, para que pues ya nos aparezca en la, en la plataforma. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. If there... Thank you. Si no hay ninguna otra eh, participación, pues nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos mañana. Recuérdense que tienen tarea jóvenes. ¿Tienen tarea para mañana? Vamos a iniciar con eso. Sí o sí, por favor, no, no digan, no lo hice, teacher, porque esa es la última frase que nosotros como docentes queremos escuchar. ¿Ok? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.